The only person you should be comparing yourself to is yourself. Hey there, welcome back to My Epic Journey. This is Brandon DeVere, and thank you as always for tuning in and sharing your time with me. I really appreciate it uh, coming in off the weekend and having a uh, great football game. I coached uh, I coached my 11-year-old son and his team uh, were playing, playing up uh, a division with the 12U kids because we wanted to challenge ourselves a little bit. So we had a good a good weekend, and um, I you know I was thinking about what to what to tell them at, at our next practice, which will be tomorrow. But thinking about what to tell them when you know about because I, I try to take this this approach for them um, as a like more of a teaching type moment, not just not just sports, not just winning. Like uh, most of the most of the coaches and most of the teams in in our league and in this flag football that we've been in for the last this is our going into our second year. Uh, most of them are, are finding like the best player. And at this age, you can really kind of see the difference between the kids and, and not saying that the other ones are better, but you can see like a gap, like this 12 year old might be like six inches taller than the other 12 year old. And the, and the gap is just a little bit bigger. So you can find, you know, you get one or two really good kids on your team and you just give them the ball all the time, hand off and just, and just play with that kid. Uh, my goal is I want all of them to touch the ball. I want them all to learn how to catch the ball, how to run the right routes, all that stuff. But I also bring in like, uh, you know, stories and other things that they can learn about, about life, like how to, how to, how to make it go. And so, you know, last week I've been listening to, told you, you know, Ed my let's uh, interview with uh, Bert Kreischer. And then over the weekend, somebody sent me a, uh, a um, podcast with, uh, it was Joe Rogan talking to Jordan Peterson and Jordan Peterson, you know, he's been, been making the rounds for a couple years and he always has good stuff. And it's funny, like, we always try to find the new thing, like what's new, what's new, what's new. And all this stuff just comes back and all the stuff that I'm hearing over and over again, like the way that Burt Kreischer presented, you know, his stuff was a little bit different than I'm normally, uh, than I normally hear it. And so it resonated with me a little bit, a little bit more. And it, it's coming from a different source, which is not normal to hear. Like it, you hear that stuff from a coach all the time, but then you hear it from a guy who's a comedian, who's known to like party hard and, and have all this discipline, which is kind of weird. Um, and then you listen to, to Jordan Peterson, and so I was listening to that today, and he was talking about competing with yourself, or and and how we should be only competing with ourselves because that's the only real, real benchmark of, of knowing like how well we're doing. And I'm honestly, as I was starting to to get this podcast up and running and and doing this video, uh, or these videos, I started thinking about okay, like because it's it's so hard. Everyone knows how hard it is. It's so hard to not get caught up in the vanity metrics as much as. I'll get up here and preach and be like, Hey, the, the metrics don't matter. Like I put out, um, I did a test. So I did a test of a week worth of videos and I had five inbound calls from people that saw my Instagram reels and they all reached. I didn't get a ton of, I mean, I probably in, in that week I did three reels a day. So maybe about fi so 15 to 20, um, 15 to 21 reels. And I got five inbound lead calls, people wanting to know what I was doing and wanting, wanting to, to see what the brokerage is about and what we could do and all that stuff. And, but the, the metrics weren't there. I didn't have a ton of views. I didn't have a ton of, of likes and comments and all that stuff. And as I was looking to research, okay, what, like for YouTube, what thumbnails are people using? Like what, what keywords, what does their banner look like? All this stuff that it it's as I'm trying to make mine compared to theirs and how I can like get inspiration, see what's working and all that stuff. I was getting lost in that aspect of it. And, you know, I, I talked to my son about this today because he knows who Mr. Beast is and Mr. Beast is, is big, obviously, uh, anybody who knows that. But uh, as I was going through this, like even he was saying this, he's like, you can't, you know, you look at your views and so many of us do this. We do something and we just stop it because we, we get, we compare to others. And, and I'm sure you probably heard this before, but the uh, comparison is the thief of joy, right? And the way I explained that to my son today was, Hey, there's a kid on our team who's never played before. And then we have a kid that is obvious. He's older. He's one of the oldest. I think he might be the, the oldest. And he just, he understands the game. Like he'll correct me when I call a route, like I'll say it's a flag route. And I'll be like, well, that's actually a corner coach. Well, the same thing essentially, but like, that's, that's like, he's, he's, he knows that aspect um, of the game. Well, I said, how can, how can this younger, the, the one who's never played before, compare himself to the one who's been playing for a long time and knows all this, all this stuff. Like the one who's never played before is still learning the basics of it. Like not even, you know, I did, I did tell him 15 times where to be out on Saturday 
And it was like, hey, go here. No, go here. Go like back and forth. He, and the other one who's been playing for a while doesn't need that. So how can they compare each other? And if the one who's been playing forever compared himself to this one, he, he, the one who hadn't been playing uh, at all, how much better will he ever get? It's very difficult to get better if you're comparing yourself to people that aren't as good as you. But then it's also difficult to get motivated when you are comparing your, yourself to people that are better than you or way better than you. And so, uh, you know, sometimes I get these these things in, a, in waves of like, you know, I, I just listened to that Burt Kreischer and like, okay, my mind's in a different spot. So like my mindset has, has shifted massively in the last week or so. And um, back to Mr. Beast, one of the things that he was saying was that don't don't come to me when you've done six videos and say it's not working. You don't have a big following. Come to me after a hundred and then we'll see where you're at. And that's for a couple different reasons. It's it's one you'll have a bigger body of work, so you'll have more experience with it. You'll also probably be better now. Uh, you know they talk about it being you know getting one percent better each day. Jordan Peterson talked about that and talk you know, in comparison in um, comparing against yourself. And he and you just are trying to get better one percent each day. Where, like, Mr. Beast, like, how arrogant would I be to say, I put out two videos, why don't I have, you know, 100 million subscribers or whatever he has. I'm not even sure what his number is, but it's massive. Like, and and how do you, how do I, why would I even want to compare myself and my downloads to, to someone like Mr. Beast? Because this is what he does for a living. This is, this is, for me, this is not my living. Will it be someday? Who knows? Maybe. But as of right now, like, my effort, my you know, my, um, the cost that I'm putting into it, like effort cost, like actual cost, time cost, all that stuff is much different. And, you know, I'm, I'm a one man show right now, you know, where a lot of these creators have multiple people helping with things, you know, people putting out 250 pieces of content a week. Like you can't do that without some massive automation and a lot of help and a lot of skill. So how, how can I, or any other, person that's trying to be not even I don't want to say a creator I mean we're all creators right but like people that are being paid to just create content um that's not me I'm not that's not what not what I'm doing I mean maybe eventually someday like I said but how do I compare myself to that so my son's uh, we had a, a pretty good chat today on it and uh, he is he, one of his favorite football players is DK Metcalf I mean we're Seahawks fans and uh, he's a receiver and I said how would you like you know, and I, I like to go to extreme sometime to make the, the point that is that might not be that far off. Because as I'm talking to him about the different players on our team, like if you're comparing yourself to that player on the team, you know, that's a little bit the gap is a little bit smaller. But I said, hey, what about this? <laughs> what would you would you ever compare yourself to DK Metcalf right now? Like that is such a broad. I mean, DK Metcalf's like six four, two thirty, solid muscle, whatever he is, uh, just a massive beast, super fast, great hands, like. I go, would you ever compare yourself to DK Metcalf, like where you are now and where he is right now? No. So why why do we do that? You know, we do that on a, on a massive scale, and, and I'm guilty of it. Again, I said before that I was going to, in these conversations that we were going to be having, and it, that, you know, a lot of this stuff is self-reflection for me and, and self-reminders for me to learn everything. This isn't – I know that this is the journey for me um, to get back to 600 agents from where I was when I left, and – so now I'm, I'm looking to rebuild that, but there's a lot of stuff that goes on. There's a lot of growth. Not, it's not just agent count growth. This is growth for, for things that I needed to get better at. I need to recognize, I need to help other people get better at. And so we'll be talking about these, these certain things. I mean, there's people in the company now that have way more, uh, way more agents than I do right now. And, and that like for me to compare myself to them, I can't, because I got to look at, I got to look at all the, um, like all the variables of, of what's going on. How, how do I do that? You know, some people came from a, a company where they didn't do, they didn't bring anybody, but they were the downline. So they were down at the kind of at the bottom and then they recruited everybody up because they came in earlier. Right. So now it's, it went reverse. It basically just flipped. Right. And so I didn't, I didn't have that. I didn't have a huge upline. My, my upline um, at EXP is full of top, top, like basically the top of the food chain in EXP and they're not going anywhere. And I was very close to the top. So there wasn't much uh, of an upline to go to go grab. Um, and if I'm being fully transparent, um, I haven't, I haven't really gone after people in, in my downline from EXP. Uh, because I have friends that recruited those people. And I don't want to like, I, I still hold friendship very high. So I mean, I'm, I'm going to 
tread lightly on that. And if, if people reach out to me, I'm not going to go after, like I, some of my best friends are, are in EXP. So I'm not going to go that that's, I see way too many people getting arguments over the brokers they're with. It drives me nuts. But anyways, you, you left us here, whatever. I'm still friends with all the people that I was friends with at EXP. So that's all good. Um, but again, like we just can't get in this thing where we are comparing ourselves to somebody else. Cause we don't know. And, and like I told my son, I go, I haven't put in the work that Mr. Beast has. It's arrogant. I mean, that, that is an arrogant thing for me to, to be upset about, to say that I, I don't have as many uh, downloads or views as Mr. Beast or as Gary V or, you know, anybody like that, because that's a reality is that they've put in way more work than I have. And I, I don't know if I would ever, if I worked every day for the rest of my life doing just this, if I'd ever even catch up to what they've done in a year. Um, <clears throat> so, I mean, what I can, what I can do is go, you know, what? two weeks ago I had one video out in a month and before that, for YouTube, I hadn't had anything out in quite a while, uh, but I can go, okay, over last week or over two weeks ago, now I have, I think this is episode, is it episode nine, eight or nine, but, but now I'm like, okay, what did I do? What did I do better? Um, and today, uh, just being in, and now implementing these things that I'm learning, not just to come talk about it on here, but I sat here and had a conversation with my son about how, Hey, and I'm going to go take it to the football team to practice tomorrow talking about, we can't be comparing ourselves you know, to each other. And, and there is, the, and I, I told my son, you know, there is the, you know, don't compare yourself to, um, to DK. You can aspire to be like DK, but you know, use that aspiration and inspiration to, to make yourself better than you were yesterday. So I don't know, you know, sometimes people are like, Oh, a little woo woo, uh, you know, coaching like, yeah, you want to be dominant. You want to go, you, you want to have goals. Yeah, of course you want to have goals. You want to have, you want to see people to set those goals and go, I want to do that. Um, but don't get caught in the, that cycle of, of man, yeah, I'm not going to do it because I'm not even, I'm not as good as them. They're, they're this, they're that, whatever. And also I'm not, I'm not saying make excuses for yourself for not being productive, but if you compare yourself and you beat yourself, um, don't beat yourself up, but beat your, beat your yesterday self and you're con uh, continuous, continuously growing, then, I mean, you, there's no doubt that you're going to be successful in, in whatever you're doing. I think, uh, you know, a friend of mine was talking one time, it was like, 14, 11 or something like that. I can't remember what it is. I'll have to ask him, but it was, if you did something, so I like to play the guitar. Um, not very good at it, but I'm better than I used to be. But, uh, there was at one point I was like, Hey, I'm just going to do 1%, 1% more. Um, and it ended up being like, uh, 14 minutes of, or something is, is doing something 1% more. Um, like 1% of your day ended up being that or something like that. But you know, the same thing with getting up early. We read all these self-help guru books and it's like, oh, hey, you got to get up at, at 4 a.m. if you want to be successful. Well, I'll tell you from my experience, if I get up that early, I'm like groggy for like the next three hours. Can't like, can't figure it out. Um, and my mind typically, like right now, it's almost seven o'clock uh, Pacific time, uh, 9 p.m. So it's nighttime and this is about when my mind starts kicking on. So it's very difficult for me to shut off late. So, I mean, I, I like for me to get up at 4am is not, is not fun. And I, I typically don't, I'm not firing, uh, on all cylinders at that point. But if you want to start getting up early, it's much easier to go. If you got up 1% earlier, it, it's like 11 minutes or something like that. So if you got up at eight o'clock today and you, and you wanted to start like getting up earlier instead of getting up at five tomorrow, because inevitably you're just going to like keep crashing and it's, it, it's going to, going to mess with you. But if you wanted to do 11 minutes earlier, so now you got up at at 749 and then 738 727 and then all of a sudden in a few weeks you've you've built that built that up so anyways just want to share that with you guys um you know again it's it, this is for me too like this isn't this isn't it's it's not me telling you what to do um but these are the things that that have been have been helping me and um and you know i gotta remember this stuff as well so hey don't beat yourself up compare yourself to yourself and get out there and, and keep crushing it so all right i'll see you guys in the next one